Welcome to the introduction series to the NextSeq 550 550DX training. This movie clip will show you the steps to take to prepare reagents before a sequencing run on the NextSeq. How to prepare the reagent cartridge and the accessory box. These should be stored between minus 25 to minus 15 degrees Celsius before use. First remove the reagent cartridge from the minus 25 to minus 15 degrees Celsius storage and unpack the box by removing the two layers of packaging containing it. Pour the cartridge in a room temperature water bath until thawed. This should take at least 60 minutes. Please note, it's important to not submerge the cartridge. An alternative method is to thaw the reagents overnight for a minimum of 18 hours at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Next, please remove the Nexseq 550-550DX accessory box from the minus 25 to minus 15 degrees Celsius storage and unpack it by removing the box from the two layers of packaging containing it. This box holds a single tube of HT1 Please defrost this tube and place it on ice until use. After thawing the Nexseq 550-550DX reagent cartridge for a minimum of 60 minutes, gently tap on the bench to dislodge water from the base and then dry the base. You can now inspect positions 29, 30, 31 and 32 again to make sure that the reagents are thawed. Then invert the cartridge five times to mix the reagents. Gently tap on the bench again to get rid of any possible air bubbles. The Nexseq 550-550DX buffer cartridge is kept at room temperature. Prepare the Nexseq 550-550DX flow cell by removing the package from 2 to 8 degrees storage. Set the unwrapped flow cell package aside at room temperature for 30 minutes without opening the foil. If the foil package is intact, the flow cell can remain at room temperature for up to 12 hours. Avoid a repeated cooling and warming of the flow cell and check correlating versions between Nexseq 550, 550DX flow cell and reagents. Remove the flow cell from the foil package just before cleaning it and setting up the run. For further questions, please get in contact with technical support.